Hey there, it's Brittany. I'm back with another video. I am going to make a necklace with you today and we're gonna use um, some supplies from the most recent Bargain Bee Box, which you guys all know I did not love. Um, however, I really did like this pendant a lot. So we're gonna use this pendant. And we're gonna spice it up <clears throat> with what color do you think? turquoise <laughs> so I have some turquoise crystals and I'm also going to use these pebble beads I can't remember what the name was from the sheet um, these were the natural Botswana agate pebble beads that's what these were so I'm going to do use these two along with this um, and we're going to use a tool that I forgot I had and Ashley reminded me when she sent me um, that one step looper in our trade she sent me this one I'm going to be using a different one I have. I have um, all three sizes. This is the 2.25 millimeter loop. Um, and I'm gonna be using some head, uh, eye pins that are already have loops on one side. That's why I'm choosing the 2.5. It's the closest I can come to this size. 1.5 millimeter is a little tiny for if you already have um, loops. That would be great if I was just using wire, which I might do one day. Um, I'm gonna grab my just this is just a bead tray I got at a bead show in Tucson um, I'm going to put that there dump some crystals out and then um, just dump out a couple or cut this and put some beads on the tray and I'm going to show you how to use the one step looper if you don't if you already know how to use it that's great <clears throat> you can just kind of fast forward because this will be really boring for you. But um, it's for people, like I have mild arthritis in some of my fingers it's just because I, um, and I also have uh, carpal tunnel. So it, it really aggravates me to make a lot of links. And so when these really became popular, I was like, okay, I'll try them out. They're a little bit expensive. That's why I didn't really want to get them. So I um, used 50% off and 60% off coupons at Joann's to buy them and maybe Hobby Lobby. So you just put your bead on your eye pin or your head pin, whatever you want to use. You grab your one step looper, depending on what size it is. Um, and there is a hole going through this side, the right side of the looper. If you're looking at the one or the 2.5 millimeter where the size is if you're looking at it it's on the right side so what you'll do is take your eye pin and slide it oops sorry it's a little off because I'm doing this in the camera slide it through that hole okay and you don't want it I'm using pretty small beads you don't you want your bead to be on the left side of this jaw right here okay you don't want it to be inside or above it um, so I'm going to go ahead and put right up against my bead we take your hand and I'm just it's a little awkward because I'm doing it on camera but um, you just squeeze it cuts and molds the um, loop at the same time so then to remove it just take out your um, leftover this is pretty long so I'm gonna keep that I always keep these if they're long enough so I can make use them with my hands later um, and then now you have a loop so I know it doesn't look exactly the same as the other side it's a little bigger However, it did a lot of the work for us. And um, you can just take your pliers and it's still open a little bit because they're th thinking, I guess the thinking is you're gonna be hooking this onto something. Um, once, you, and I'm not gonna do that for every one of them, but I'm gonna show you on this one. Once you close it, it looks very similar to the other side. So it's super, this is just it's a fantastic tool for somebody who has, um, arthritis, finger pain, joint pain. Um, I get wrist pain real bad from repetitive twisting and I used to have to wear braces all the time when I was making jewelry for a living and I don't have to do that anymore. First of all, I don't make this kind of necklace a lot, but I don't have to do that anymore when I make this type of necklace and it it, it used to like hamper me. I would really, like, oh, I don't really want to do that because it's going to hurt my hands. And now I don't have to worry about that. It's like the best tool ever. And I can't believe I even forgot I had it. So I'm going to go ahead and do a bunch of links. And um, actually, let me show you another one just so you can, I'll, I'll do, I'll use one of these beads so you can see, um, see it again in not slow motion, but in regular motion. <laughs> so we just slide the, um, 
head I head eye pin, whichever one you're using, into the looper. And by the way, these are by Be uh, Bead Smith, and I can I've found them at Hobby Lobby and Joann's, and I think Michaels. And you can use coupons on them. So um, put it in. Go ahead. I always hold this just because I don't want um, that piece flying out and hitting me in my eye. Um, and then just go ahead and crunch it. And there we have another loop. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for a lot of beads because I want to, to make a, neck, a long necklace. I'm thinking I'm going to um, alternate uh, agate, crystal agate, but I don't know for sure. So I'm just gonna do a whole bunch and we'll be back. I'll do it on a turbo. So I just made a mistake and I wanted to show you what it was to let you know first of all that I make mistakes and second of all to prevent you from doing it if you do grab a one-step looper. So I wasn't paying attention, I was going too quickly and I didn't, uh, some of the bead got past this par portion of the looper, this part of the jaw. So it really just started wire wrapping it and that's not what I want. So let me show you with a new bead exactly what I did and what you shouldn't do. So I put it through and instead I was going along and the bead slipped in there. So it pushed the bead out and actually this one is not even cutting and I don't want to break my bead so I'm not going to force it. But um, yeah, that's what will happen if your bead isn't in the right place. So these are super simple to use but there is some margin for error if you don't use them correctly. Okay, so I kept going until I ran out of eye pins for now. That was just the leftover pack I had. I get them from Hobby Lobby. And I think somebody else asked where I get my jump rings. Um, I just get them from wherever, whenever I feel like it. Like I pay attention to the quality when I'm buying them. But normally they come from Hobby Lobby, especially if they're these thicker um, jump rings. I haven't, honestly, I haven't been shopping at Hobby Lobby. Well, the last month I've been on my spending freeze which is up tomorrow but I think I need to extend it and uh, uh, but I haven't been uh, shopping at Hobby Lobby for numerous reasons but mo one of them is that I'm not going in anywhere lately and I'm just shopping online so but I do like their jump rings um, they do they might tarnish I, I don't really pay attention to jump rings too much um, uh, but yeah that's where I get them uh, and, and I get some from Joann's too um, so all I'm going to do is link them. I think I want to do interchanging, like one uh, agate, one crystal, one agate, one crystal. Or, I don't know. We'll see. I think that's what I'm going to go for. I, I don't think I have any other pattern in mind. I wish I knew. I still, t day two, oh, just as I say this, day two of me missing my other pair of pliers I just moved something and I saw this so now I have these I, I love these but the bent nose trying to do loops is really rough on my hands so um, I am just going to start linking these uh, I have a bunch of jump rings here um, and we'll see how far we get with what we have here and if we need more I, I don't really know what length I'm going for <laughs> just winging it um, okay uh, I'm gonna switch into fast mode and uh, I'll be back Okay, so I did run out. Um, I need a longer chain, and I before I grab some new um, eye pins, I wanted to show you it is possible to use your remnants in um, your one-step looper. So I just have um, whatever was left from one of the beads. Um, of course, I'm not going to scoot it all the way through here. That's just a guide. Um, I'm going to put it as far in as I need to to create the loop. 
let it create the loop. Okay, and I'm going to slip on my crystal. And then we're just gonna follow the same process that we did before. However, it's not going to, it's not gonna make it all the way over to there, um, over to this side, because the it's a shorter eye pin. Um, just make sure that your bead is outside any outside of the jaw and that you have enough um, of a tail to go around. So as long as that as those two things are true, you can use your step, uh, your looper on remnants. So now I have two ends that I need to close, but honestly, that goes so quickly. Just grab one end. You can use the round nose pliers or the flat nose pliers, it really doesn't matter. And then you grab the other end, and I'll show you using the round nose pliers. There you go. So I'm going to continue creating these off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I assembled my chain, so it's beaded chain now. Um, it's about 27, almost 28 inches. I actually would really prefer it to be about 36, but um, I ran out of the agate. Um, I could extend it with chain on the back, but I don't really, I, I think I've been packing um, my chain and I don't really have any right now, so maybe I'll change it in the future. I really just like how it looks just being the beaded chain itself. This is gonna be an over the head necklace. I am not going to put a clasp on it. So I started the ends as I ended them, or I ended the ends as I started them with a uh, crystal bead. Um, and then all I need is two jump rings. So I'm going to take the larger one which is not very large either. Um, oops, sorry. And I'm going to open it like I normally would, just by twisting, never pull. Sorry. Twist that open. My coordination is off today, clearly. Okay. That's good enough. And I'm going to slip the two ends of the chain on to the jump ring. I'm just gonna make sure it's not twisted. And it is, sorry, just one moment. Okay. I'll slip both. And if you just wanted a beaded chain, that's totally fine. You could use jump ring or just connect it to itself. You, I've done that before. Um, I'm going to close the jump ring, twist. Um, and then, sorry, I'm just gonna make sure that I have this laying the correct way. There we go. And then I'll take my pendant and a smaller jump ring. I mean, you, I guess you could use the same size jump ring, but I'm going to use a smaller one today. I'm going to twist it open. We'll take our pendant, and there's something in there. Grab it with our jump ring and put it on our other jump ring. can always use a pinch bail, whatever you have handy. It doesn't have to be a jump ring. And there we go. We have a beautiful bohemian almost. Uh, but actually this is more a little, this is pretty elegant, I think. Uh, which is funny because they named this box Elegance. <laughs> um, but we have our little um, agate. I think this was agate, I can't remember. And our beaded chain using our one step uh, looper. If you guys uh, have any questions about using the one step looper, please let me know. I'd be happy to help as far as, you know, whatever I know about it. And then um, let me know about what you think about this necklace. I can't wait to wear it somewhere. I'm not going to go anywhere really, but <laughs> once I can go somewhere, I can't wait to wear it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you know anybody who likes um, jewelry or beads or loves beads, let me know and uh, please share my channel. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.
Goldie. Hi. Oh, you're not happy. Oh, hi, Goldie. He's my good baby. Yeah. Hi. Say hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. You're such a sweetheart. 